Turns out the whole media narrative trying to trying to discourage you from buying an EV because it's oh they're not popular anymore. It's all a, a complete load of horseshit. I mean, EV sales are down this year. They're collapsing. Well, it turns out they're actually up by 19% worldwide for the first quarter of the year. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. And I don't think I've ever hated the media more than I do now. You know, I used to have a distaste for the media, I think, because there were so many times that I read things that proved to be false, proved to be incorrect. But at the moment, ah, you know what? I want to slap some of these idiot journalists in the face. In March 2024, registrations of EVs grew by 19% versus March of 2023. Yeah. Apparently, um, there is demand for EVs and EV sales are not slowing down after all. So far, in fact, March was an amazing month because a huge percentage of the world's EV sales are obviously in China. We all know that, right? And March is a crappy month for sales in China because the first three months of the year in China, car sales are just always really low. That's how they are. The last three months of the year, car sales are sometimes about triple what they are in the first three months of the year. In fact, they are about triple. That's, that's the norm. So the fact that actually March was the third highest EV sales month in history is insane. If this was, say, um, October, November, December, we'd, we'd be saying, oh, yeah, that's just normal. But for this to happen in March, EV demand is actually better than what we thought. Now, don't believe Volkswagen Group, don't believe Ford General Motors. They're all just talking nonsense because they're losing too much money on every EV they sell. So they're trying to get EV sales to slow down because China already owns it. Yeah, it actually makes sense what they're doing, but it's just sad they're doing it in such a dishonest way. I reckon just they should just say it. Just say, guys, we can't make profitable EVs. So we're going to leave it to China. Anyway, 1,314,687 EVs were sold in March. That's, that's quite a lot. That's obviously worldwide. All electric car registrations accounted for about 65% of all plug-in car registrations. So if you're wondering how plug-in hybrids are going versus EVs, of that total, 65% were fully electric and 35% were plug-in hybrid. So some people are saying, you know what, um, we need plug-in hybrids for pickup trucks and bigger vehicles. I don't buy into that. Um, some of the high up people in some car companies, that's what they've said to me uh, in emails and various stuff. I don't believe that's true. I believe that's just because you haven't quite found a way to make it work yet, but you can. Anyhow, EV sales clearly are growing. So are plug-in hybrid sales. I and mean, that's, that's good. I mean, it's better than... Um, it's better than internal combustion only. But remember, a very large percentage of people, unfortunately, do drive plug-in hybrids simply as gasoline-powered vehicles. They don't actually charge them. They're too lazy because a lot of them are company cars. Now, looking at purely electric cars, what were the best-selling EVs just for the month of March? Actually, let's go with the month of March just so you guys have an idea of the best-selling EVs worldwide. The number one was the Tesla Model Y. First place, 118,985 deliveries. It's a long, a long way past second place because second place was the Tesla Model 3 with 41,000 deliveries. In third place was the BYD Seagull. So it's called the Dolphin Mini in some places, but anyway, as you guys know it, the BYD Seagull, very small vehicle. It is coming to Europe. Just so you know, it's definitely coming to Europe, but it will be bigger. So it'll be a different version of the current Seagull. Apparently it's coming next year in 2025 and will be priced under $20,000. That's good. Uh, next you have the BYD Yen Plus, which is called the Addo 3 outside of China. That was just behind the Seagull with 29,000 deliveries. That was followed up by the BYD Chin Plus with 21,160 sales. So that gives you really the top selling vehicles. Obviously, Tesla, um, one and two. You, then you've got BYD, third, fourth, and fifth, and actually sixth as well. Thanks for watching, my friends. Have a great day.